Hey guys, welcome back to another video on TJ's Tech and today we're going to be building a PC for the budget of 18,000 which is about a thousand US dollars. So I recently built a new PC as an upgrade to my previous rig and I thought I should take this opportunity to show you guys how you can maximize the amount of money you can save by doing some regular shopping on the internet and I'm also going to show you how I put it together into this beautiful all black gaming rig that you're seeing and we're also going to test it in today's popular titles. Let's get into it. So for the CPU, I highly recommend you go for the Core i3-13100F. It's a great CPU for gaming and it won't set you back too much money and it won't bottleneck you in most titles if you pair it with a reasonable GPU. But if you need the extra cores like I did, I went for this Intel 12th Gen Core i5-12400F which is an amazing CPU. It's got um, 6 cores, 12 threads. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any of those E cores and if you pair it with any uh, 12th gen or 13th gen motherboard you can always upgrade to a to a 13th gen cpu and then for our cooler i went for this deep cool gamex ag500 it's a great cpu cooler for our budget of a cpu and it comes with the uh, lj1700 uh, brackets out of the box so you don't have to worry about compatibility and also it looks sleek and black which is why i chose it for a motherboard you can go for the asus prime b660 mk it's a good enough motherboard for for you to pair with 12th gen but unfortunately it only comes with uh, two dim slots which is a problem for me i like to at least have the option being able to put in four uh, memory sticks if i feel like it but if that's not a red flag for you then you can always go for this one it's a great motherboard uh the closest competitor i could find on eve tech was this msi b660 me ddr4 motherboard i personally went for this uh gigabyte motherboard it's a b760 motherboard so it's actually for 13th gen but it also works on 12th gen and it goes for 2399 which is the same price as uh, this MSI motherboard that we saw earlier so if you're gonna be spending this much money for the motherboard you might as well just go for this one because you're getting more features and a more complete motherboard so for RAM, you could go for this dirt cheap disco memory. It's 16 gigabyte, 3200 mega transfers, and it's CL16, and it's going for 939, which is a very reasonable price. It's probably the cheapest, best performing memory. But I'm a sucker for RGB, so I went for this Corsair Avengers RGB Pro SL, which is 3200 megahertz CL16 as well. So it performs the same as the disco memory that we just saw, but it also dazzles in uh, RGB which is great for performance absolutely great for performance for storage I went for a one terabyte SSD but you can save like 500 bucks and uh, go for like a 512 uh, gigabyte SSD so I actually ordered a Hikvision SSD and they gave me the 970 EVO plus so I'm not complaining for the case, I went for this Gambius Helios E3 mesh. It's a great looking case and it comes with fans pre-installed, which is awesome. For the GPU, I, I went second hand. I got this Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti. The only thing I hate about this GPU is the 8 gigabytes of VRAM, which is not good for longevity. I managed to get mine for about 6,000 and I paid 360 for shipping. So if you check on Mar Facebook Marketplace, you can get a bunch of 3060 Ti's that go for about the same price. Here's one that goes for 5,900, but just be careful whoever you trade with. Don't just believe whatever they say. Always check the condition of the card. Make sure you ask the right questions like, what's it been used for? How long has it been used for? Here are a few others if you wanna go secondhand. And then finally for the power, I went for this EVGA 600 watt gold certified power supply. So you could also go for this one. So if you go for the parts that are recommended, it'll set you back about 15,203. But if you wanna go for my exact configuration, it's about 18,000. Okay, 
So this is for night on high settings. <laughs> I burned him. This game is so violent. Thank you guys for watching the video up until the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like if you did. And if you like these kinds of videos, make sure you check out my other build video from a year or so ago. Where's that gun?